Well, today is the day. This is my uh, 05 Honda Odyssey. And I finally got all the equipment and stuff together to uh, depack my tires. We got these run flats here, and uh, we've been needing tires for almost a year now. They actually looked a lot better than this a year ago, but uh, we finally got up the, uh, the equipment and the stuff to do it. So here's the kit I had to purchase. Uh, I ordered it through the mail. Um, <clears throat> basically comes with new rims. And I went with the steel ones. I can't really afford the aluminum rims. You can get different types of rims if you want. Um, I, I made sure I got all genuine Honda parts. Um, comes with, of course, four rims there. Also, we have a package here with uh, our hubcaps in it. I've also got some uh, tire pressure rebuild kits or valve stem kits. So we're going to need to replace those uh, valve stems on our old sensors. I didn't get new sensors. You can get new sensors. But uh, I'm going to reuse the old ones. And I'm going to show you how to get the old sensors out of your uh, PAX tires. And then, of course, because it's not going to be run flat anymore, you got to put a spare tire in there. Just in case you get a flat, you got to change it out. And here's the hub cap. It's nice and pretty. It's got the Honda emblem on it. And I'm not trying to sell Honda parts here. I just I own a Honda, and I believe that Honda parts ought to be on it. If I owned a Ford, I'd want Ford parts to be on it. So this is not a commercial. Um, it also, like I said, came with lug nuts. You can see they're nice, pretty chrome lug nuts. And uh, we'll put those on a little bit later. But uh, I got this kit because I, I couldn't afford to uh, to put the PAX tires back on. PAX tires installed would, would have run me about 1600 bucks. I got this kit here for around 700 and then I got a set of tires for under 400 bucks. Uh, of course, I got a discount because I work at a shop. But uh, anyway, you, you can't beat that for four or 500 bucks less than it would cost for the uh, PAX tires. I got a set of premium tires uh, that will last a lot longer and ride a lot smoother. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove my tire pressure sensor. And I'm using a two and a half inch hole saw uh, using on my drill here. And I'm just going to cut right into the side, the side wall of the tire. And I'm not really, really worried about hurting the, uh, the sensor because it sits flat to or flush to the, uh, the rim there. So we're not going to hit it. I ain't got to worry about that. Uh, once I get my hole drilled, I'm just going to place my left hand in there and hold the sensor with my two fingers. Then I'm going to take a uh, 7 16 socket and remove the nut on the other side of the valve stem there and that will release the sensor and I'll be able to pull it out. Go ahead and get that nut off. Then I'm just going to push the sensor in and uh, grab it with my fingers there and work it out. And voila! All right, so here's my valve stem kit. I actually called it a tire pressure rebuild kit or a valve stem rebuild kit. It's actually just a valve stem kit. I got four of them and it comes with all you see here. You got your valve stem, your nut, and then the screw that uh, you put through the tire pressure sensor there that holds the tire pressure sensor to the actual valve stem. And you just put that screw right through the back side of the sensor and screw your valve stem onto the sensor and get that good and snug. And uh, of course, we're going to remove that black sheath. Take your nut after you've placed the sensor and the uh, um, the valve stem through the rim, and then tighten the nut down. That's where your rim actually sits. This is a demonstration actually on the rim for you. Pretty simple. Put your little screw through there, then uh, add your valve stem and twist it down or uh, screw it down. Get it good and snug, a little bit snugger than what you see me doing right there. Then uh, put it right through that rim where the valve stem is supposed to go. Take your nut, place it on the other side, and torque it down to specification. And uh, that's it in a nutshell on the, uh, the valve stem and tire pressure sensor installation. Uh, I chose to just get the, the valve stems instead of getting new sensors because they're quite expensive and uh, you know they're reusable, so why not reusable? Um, and of course, you got to mount and, and then balance your tire and then install your tire. And that's pretty much it. Of course, you want to do an alignment too. Any, anytime you do new tires, you want to do an alignment. And uh, this does take special nuts. It should come in your kit, wherever you go buy your kit from. And I know some people are going to flip a lid here. I actually lowered it down and put a torque wrench on them. I'm just snugging them down. And here's a spare tire kit. It comes with a couple of stickers. We'll need to put those on and also all the equipment to install your spare tire. Now this sticker here goes on the spare tire. I'll just put it right there. If I can do that with one hand. It gives the uh, 
the pressure specification on it. And this sticker here goes where your other tire sticker goes. We're putting this on because they're not run flats anymore. They're regular old tires. And I'm just going to place that right over the old one. This has the uh, specification for the spare tire on it. All right, and inside here on the driver's side is where you, you mount your spare tire. Uh, you can pull right there and also right up here, there's a little flap that you just push down on and rip right out. So we're going to go ahead and do that and get in it and put our spare tire in there. Just pull straight out like that. Pull that all the way out. Uh, now you got these little divots when you go to put it back in. They need to go in first and then the top pops right back in. Open up our bag and put our tire in there. And I, I'm guessing that this bag is to keep the tire from rusting because uh, it'll sit up in there for a long time without being used. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. I don't, I'm not sure if that's actually what it's for or not. But we're going to do what the instructions say to do. Uh, let's go and set the tire up in there. And you're supposed to tie the bag up, take the pieces. Put them together, put the hole right there, and then there's a uh, receptacle for that on the other side, and you gotta poke the bag through the other side of it. And tighten it up. And by the way, make sure that there is actually 60 PSI in this tire before you mount it, because in order to fill it up, you gotta take it all the way back out. So our spare tire is in. Go ahead and take our cover. Place the bottom in the divots first. Right. Pop it all in place. And your Odyssey should already come equipped with a jack. It's right inside there. So if you get stuck on the side of the road, you need to jack it up. That's where all your equipment is stowed at. And here is the finished product. I'd say it doesn't look too shabby. I don't like them as much as I like those aluminum rims or those uh, alloy rims, but, but this is what I could afford and it doesn't look half bad to me. I think it's just fine. It's all genuine Honda parts and rides a lot smoother. I think it's a better deal all around. Next time I get new tires, it only cost me 400 bucks. Now it's worth mentioning that uh, this method is not really for everybody. Uh, this just happened to work better for me. Um, I can't really afford $1,600 a pop uh, every time I need to get new tires all the way around. Um, albeit that does include an alignment, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll stick with $400 a time. So uh, it, it sent me back about $1,200 uh, this first time here. And the next time I need tires, I'll be spending $400 bucks like everybody else. $400, $500, bucks, however much. But um, do do some research on this if you decide to do this yourself. I'm not necessarily recommending this for everybody. This worked for me, okay? Now, as I understand, I do believe that Honda does not actually condone doing doing this on this particular vehicle here. It's set up for run flats. Uh, your message center will give you false information if you ever get a flat. It'll actually say it's okay to keep driving. It's not okay to keep driving if you don't have run flats on your vehicle. So you got to be aware of that. Also, you got to make sure that you have the right load rating uh, tires for this vehicle. Uh, check your, your weight on your vehicle, make sure that tires can ha actually handle your vehicle. You can't just put any tire on here. Now, there's a lot of good reputable websites uh, available for you to, to research all this and get, get all your information together. Uh, this isn't necessarily the end all uh, source. This is just something that I wanted to share with you uh, about my experience and, and how I uh, got around the deep packs or got around the PAX situation. So. Uh, like I said, this this is just a, a, a very superficial video, not necessarily everything you need to know about this. Uh, do do your research. Uh, also, uh, if I have more information, uh, I'll, I'll make that available to you down in the discussion and also down in the description of the video. So be sure to read the entire description of this video before you actually try this yourself. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, you know, I, I check my uh, discussion board every day, and I'll be happy to give you any, inf inf any information that I might have uh, about this, uh, this particular project here. Uh, now i got to find out what I'm going to do with those old rims and tires. <laughs> anyway, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you, guys.